Hi guys, here's a funny story of how I started playing games of hide and seek with a wild crow. A few weeks ago, a crow noticed I had peanuts in the bird feeder, and in the process of trying to get the peanuts, she almost knocked the feeder over. And so I started putting the peanuts on the ground for her instead. And each day she'd come by and she'd pick up the peanuts, and I thought to myself, I wonder if we can play a game. I wonder what lengths she's willing to go through to, to get these peanuts. And so this is day one. It was simple, I just put the peanuts behind the plant. She found them and started collecting them throughout the day. But as the days go by, the games get progressively harder and what she does at the end totally took me by surprise. Now the second day, kind of the same thing. I left some peanuts nearby, but not in the same spot. I put them in between some rocks. I wanted them to be accessible. I wanted her to be able to find them, but I wanted it to be different still. And so she finds a peanut in the back and she walks it over. She's not gonna collect just the peanut and fly away. It has to be worth her time. And so there she goes. She's piling up the peanuts. One, two, three. And off she goes. And she does this a couple more times until she's collected all the peanuts for that day. The next day I wanted to do something real different. Something different for me and for her. And so I put peanuts inside a container. An open-ended container. I wanted to know if she was daring enough to even give this a shot. And she sees it and there she goes. She walked by, she gave it a glance, and she's gonna proceed with caution here. You see her approaching on the far right side, and she's coming in. She takes a look. She grabs them. She's smart, she puts them down so she can finish emptying out the container. Puts a nice little, a nice little neat stack there. Collects two and off she goes. Well, I got really excited by this and wanted to make sure it wasn't a coincidence. So the next day I did it again. This time I loaded it with peanuts and I figured she can snack on them throughout the day if she decides she wants to play. And there she is. And sure enough, she comes for the rest of the day to collect the peanuts. So this got me thinking, what else can I do? How can I make this funner, harder, per se? So I decided to put some peanuts deshelled peanuts and some regular peanuts um, inside a tube. I wanted to see if she would even find them and if she'd be daring enough to stick her beak in there to pull them out. You saw she just walked by and there she is. She takes a glance, very cautious. And there she got her peanut and off she goes. Great. Let's see what else she can do. This time, I just left them hanging, very accessible with some fruits, gave her a choice, and it didn't look like she wanted to play. She checked those rocks to see if there were any peanuts there, and she's walking alongside. She doesn't seem interested in messing around with this man-made concoction that I have there full of peanuts. I thought, Okay, let's go back to basics. All of them inside a closed container. She wanted to have nothing to do with that. And so she was done playing my game. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos of interactions with this crow, please consider liking and subscribing so you don't miss any new content. We'll see you soon.